It was a devastating loss for Zoo Tampa. All 12 stingrays found dead inside their habitat a few weeks ago. It was a big mystery, but we now know the problem, or at least we know the zoo says the problem was in the water. Uh, they say a super saturation event took place, meaning that something injected a lot of air into the tank all at once. Fox 13's Haley Hines is live at the zoo now to explain exactly what happened and what could have caused that and how the zoo is moving forward. Haley? Hey Chris, the zoo says any number of malfunctions or issues in the tank could have led to that super saturation, which caused a deadly gas bubble disease in the stingrays. Now, while the zoo says they do plan to bring stingrays back in the future, next time they will be in a brand new habitat. They glide through the water, their flat, smooth bodies gracefully flapping from side to side. These are living things that we care for every day, and you lose them, it's, it's, uh, it's hard on the staff. When all 12 stingrays wound up dead at Zoo Tampa Stingray Bay, they went under the surface searching for answers. The culprit, super saturation, according to an independent investigation. That causes oxygen or nitrogen bubbles to, to form and that's not a good thing. It happened sometime in the overnight hours of May 27th. The supersaturation in the water led to gas embolisms or gas bubble disease in the rays. The stingrays didn't look quite right. Um, they weren't being active. They weren't coming over for food. When the water was tested in the morning, oxygen levels had resolved. So it wasn't immediately clear what happened. By mid-morning, all the stingrays were gone. It's difficult to treat, again, because this then goes into the tissues of the animal. Uh, so again, it's the equivalent of, of bends in humans. Scuba divers can experience painful bubbles in the bloodstream. In the rays, investigators found hemorrhaging on their gills. The zoo maintains the life support system of the 16,000 gallon tank was checked daily and maintained by trained staff. So what caused this? It could be a, a, a finite crack in a pipe mm -hmm. that's drawing air in. It could be a malfunctioning pump. Uh, a skimmer that we all have in our swimming pools. You know, skimmers start to draw air. That's not a good thing. While stingrays will return to Zoo Tampa, Stingray Bay will not. They plan to build a brand new habitat and water management system with updated technology, procedures, redundancies, and safeguards. Obviously, we're we're uh, very concerned about what happened. Uh, the staff is is devastated by this loss, but we're gonna we're gonna make it right. So plans are in the works to hopefully prevent this from happening again in the future. Uh, there is no hard timeline on when that new habitat could open here at Sioux Tampa. Chris. Yeah, it sounds like a, an unfortunate thing that happened, but the positive outcome may be that the, in the future, the zoo will have a state-of-the-art habitat for the stingrays there. All right, Haley Hines with the latest for us there from Zoo Tampa tonight. Thanks, Haley.